Hi, today I'll show you how to make this nail art with two different techniques, the easy and the hard one. I'll do this nail art on a fake nail. Nail art can be done with only nail polish and with the one stroke rules. So, first of all, I make a gradient with a fan brush and some paint. Can you see how I'm moving my fingers? Here's a close zoom of it. I love doing gradients with paint. I've showed you gradients made before with a sponge. I'll do it here with paint for you to see the difference. First, I've applied a beige base. I'll show you two techniques. First, you can make a gradient on your base with one color. Personally, I really don't like this technique. The result isn't good since the colors are not melt together. Instead, add the two colors on your sponge. First the purple and then the beige. And then tap the sponge on a white base. Here's how the gradient looks with the sponge. The fading effect is great. Can you see the difference between the two techniques? I love them both, though they are different, they last long. And now with the iridescent paints, I recommend you to use the Joe Sonia's iridescent paints. With it you'll obtain a lovely effect on your base. And it will help you to make an impermeable layer. That will allow you to erase the paint even though it's dry. If you make some mistakes, you can fix it with water. See how it looks on the paint and on the nail polish? I have made a test for you. On the left, I've applied a normal paint, hard to erase, but on the iridescent paint, you can remove the paint easily. Now let's work on the nail art. So you'll need a normal liner. You'll also need purple paint, and you can use, of course, the liner's polish. You can also use nail polish, both are good. I've done two kinds of petals. The bottom is bigger. Then I added several drops done by pressing on the brush. I stretch it gently to refine the line at the end. Then I add some thin drops and some inside of the petals. And now with a golden liner, I add some glitter flakes between the drops. As you can see on the right it's done with nail polish and on the left with paint. Here's a golden and a silver version. It's a quick nail art, it took me only 30 minutes to do it. You can do it too, it's not that hard, you'll see. So now I apply a matte blue polish and some coats of iridescent paint. If it's too iridescent for you, you can dilute the paint to reduce the iridescence. It used to have too much iridescent paint earlier, so that's what I did. With the one stroke technique, I draw a rose. I dip my square brush in white and pink paint and use the usual technique to draw this rose. I start drawing sort of an arc, then I make some sort of small comma, a small comma at the end. Don't forget to twist your brush. And do not make three identical petals or else the flower will look like it's open. And now do the same thing below. Don't do it too low though. The white paint should be over the purple of the petal. And once again repeat the same technique. Between the two steps you should always apply two coats of paint. Wait for the paint to dry and apply another coat. Now, I'm going to make a small U-shape to the rose button and then I draw another U-shape to make some sort of a whirlpool. And now, to finish up this nail art, I will draw V-shapes. These will help to make the heart of the flower. The aim of doing that is simply to fill the empty area of the rose. I paint a small comma. 
With my fine brush, Tarte Fresh, I make the outlines of the rose. This will highlight the design and it will help to define the spiral. And then I will add some spirals and dots. I'm really sorry I haven't filmed these parts because my camera ran out of battery. So here's the final result. Here are the three designs I've done today. What's your favorite? If you want more videos on fake nails, tell me in the comments too. And I'll see you next week for a new